Hi guys, welcome back to the Olive Board YouTube channel. I hope all of you are doing really well. Today we are going to talk about how to master the quantitative aptitude section for IBPS RRB Officer Scale 1 and IBPS RRB Office Assistant Examination in just 50 days. Before we proceed into the video, I would like to mention that some parts of this presentation are in Hindi, but that will not cause any problem to you. If you just listen to the English portion, you will definitely understand the whole strategy. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more such content. So, let's get started. So, before we start, let us take a quick look over the important dates for IBPS RRB Officer Scale 1 and IBPS RRB Office Assistant exams. So as you can see on the screen that for IBPS RRB PO, the online registration dates are till July 2, 2018. So if you haven't registered already, I would request you to do so. Next, the prelims examination for IBPS RRB uh, PO is on August 11, 12 and August 18, 2018. The results of the preliminary examination will be out in September. And the mains examination will be conducted on September 30, 2018. The results of the mains examination will be out in October and you will be allotted uh, to the respective banks by January 2019. For IBPS RRB Office Assistant, the online registration dates remain the same. So if you haven't registered, please go and register. The prelim examinations for RRB Office Assistant is August 19, 25 and September 1, 2018. The results of the prelims examination will be out in September itself and the mains examination will be held on October 7, 2018. So from today, we almost have 50 days before your exams come up on August 11, 2018. You may keep reminders of these dates that are important on your smartphone to ensure that you do not miss out on any important event. We will now be seeing how we can use uh, this time that we have in the most effective way to master quantitative aptitude for IBPS RRB examinations. So here in this case, the quantitative aptitude has quite a few chapters and topics. You need to make a checklist so that it is handy while you are preparing for the examinations. Also, because quantitative aptitude comes in both the prelims and main stages of the exam, it is necessary that you prepare it thoroughly. Let's see the topics that are there in quants. They are quadratic equations, simplification, profit and loss, simple and compound interest, speed, time and distance, ratios, percentages, number series, thirds, permutations, combinations, mixtures and averages, probability, mensuration, data interpretation, caselets, charts and graphs. Now, let's see what makes the quantitative aptitude section so difficult. When we want to master a subject, we must find out that what is stopping us from doing so. In this case, these are the following reasons that we could think of. Quant has more topics or chapters compared to other sections like logical reasoning or English language. So we have to study more. This is why we have to do effort and more Also, quant ke jo topics hote hai, they are quite confusing. We can practice for many many times and even after that we shall not be sure about the best method. We will keep wondering, is there a shortcut for the question? Kya main ise jaldi kar sakta hun? Is there an easier way to solve a problem? And most likely there is or there will be. Third, since there is negative marking, deciding whether to answer the question or not is a very serious challenge. In case of logical reasoning, it can be a pattern that you did not solve before, while in the case of English language, it can simply be a word you have no idea about. However, in case of quants, student can waste a lot of time thinking. In the exam, whether the question is hard, easy, whether the formula, you know, they know or they don't know, whether they are putting it up right or wrong. So these are the main challenges which you will face or most likely you have faced already while you are preparing for the quant questions. Now let's see what are the most important topics in quant. 
based on the past year's trends the most important topics in quant could be the following first number series number series is a very important topic for both po and office assistant examinations approx 5 to 6 questions will come from number series the next topic that you need to focus on is simplification because again it's an easy topic and five questions do come from this particular topic next is the challenging data interpretation approximately 5 to 10 questions come from this topic and you need to start working hard on it start practicing different patterns so you are completely acquainted with what type of questions can come and lastly quadratic equations is also an important topic because approximately 5 questions come from it if you know any of them to be a relatively difficult chapter for you please start studying and revising as soon as possible कभी कभी शायद आपको लगे कि ये चैप्टर या टॉपिक हमें आता है पर हम श्योर नहीं हो पाते अनलेस यू प्रैक्टिस द क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम दैट सो प्रैक्टिस तो आपको करना ही है फॉर एवरी चैप्टर टू सिंपली फाइंड आउट इफ यू लैक एट सम पार्ट और नॉट और इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर इज योर स्ट्रेंथ कमिंग टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट विच इज द प्रेपरेशन स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड फॉर आईबीपीएस आर आर to prepare for this particular section you have two options you can start by focusing on the heaviest weighted chapters or topics in quantitative aptitude and focus on perfecting them or the second option is that you can take an olive board mock test determine your weaknesses and work on them effectively what you can do is create a checklist like you can see over here we have mentioned all the topics that are there in quantitative aptitude we have determined their difficulty or labeled them as hard medium or easy next we have put this on priority as high medium or low this is a sample this will be customized as per your current preparation position because you will know which topic is hard for examples yahan pe simplification hard hai aapke liye easy bhi ho sakta hai to uski priority aap decide kar sakte hain ki aapko kya rakhni hai so it is very important to have this chart from wherever you are preparing because this will help you to decide which topics need focus and attention primarily and which topics you know you can manage later so ab aa gayi hai wo ghadi jab aap mat se puchhenge ki preparation start kaise karni hai so it's an easy way out you just go to your olive wood account the first step is that you need to have your basics and foundations for at least quant very very clear remember the thing with quant is that if you have your concepts clear your foundation strong you can solve any sum the only thing that you will need to work upon is your timing to aap isko ensure kijiye ki aapke concepts ekdam crystal clear ho यहाँ पे जैसे आप देख सकते हैं द वीडियो लेसन और द मटीरियल इज देयर फॉर क्वांट एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू सेपरेट टॉपिक्स सो दिस विल हेल्प यू मास्टर ईच टॉपिक एंड इट्स कॉन्सेप्ट द सेकेंड स्टेप इज टू मेक श्योर दैट यू प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट एंड सो इट विल मेक यू परफेक्ट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर एग्जामिनेशन द थिंग दैट यू नीड टू डू इज दैट यू नीड टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक टेस्ट आफ्टर यू आर डन विद योर कॉन्सेप्ट this will help you to analyze the topics you are strong at and the topics that are your weaknesses you will know ki for example you are weak at mensuration or you are weak at permutation combinations you can go back to step 1 again read the material or view the lectures and come back and see to the topic tests if you are improving or not you can then take the sectional tests to understand if you can master the sectional timing and take that real exam pressure the next step is to check the improve tab so the improve tab will help you understand your current performance and it will also guide you to tell you that this is the way or these are the ways you can improve your performance coming to the last leg of this slide i would suggest that you keep a time table where you can decide on what you want to study each day you need to know that on this particular day i am going to complete this topic then practice and then after some time revise that chapter so that i do not forget it also you need to understand that you cannot take a lot of breaks 
when i say breaks i mean leaving out days where you do not study anything please please don't do that you have to understand that if you take a break your consistency and your flow of studies you know almost break down so what you need to do is sometimes you can take in off but make sure that you are studying something or the other you can t- keep a light topic where you are strong at and you can easily practice some sums finally for the tougher chapters or parts like data interpretation first break them into smaller parts and finish each part and then you can start uh, practicing them together and you can complete the particular topic thoroughly so that's all that we have for the quantitative aptitude preparation strategy every day of your preparation is very important and i assure you that you will be a lot better prepared if you can just simply focus on those elements as we discussed if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to the olive wood channel for more such videos also do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us all the very best for your preparation if you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to mention it in the comment section below thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video